the Chico O'Farrell Afro-Cuban Jazz Orchestra, directed by Arturo O'Farrell. <laughs> Cuba is a lot like New Orleans or Buenos Aires or New York. The entire island is infused with music and the flavor of Africa and Europe. It is entirely a part of the language of jazz. My father he just understood this music almost as a birthright. For me, emotionally, it would be wonderful to be able to, in essence, bring my father back to Cuba. Maybe not physically, but at least the legacy that he gave me. Arturo Ferro, you've got 1,100 Americans signed on to this. Tell us about this letter. Well, the letter is very important because it, it states that we need to have uh, all cultural restrictions and hopefully economic restrictions lifted from our relationship with Cuba. We're preventing ourselves from accessing great artists and from sending our top artists into Cuba. Chico Firewell is the greatest uh, jazz musician and, and jazz figure and Afro-Cuban jazz figure of all times. That's a picture of my mom and my dad. My father was very heartbroken uh, that he never got to return to Cuba. And the only thing that could make him cry and, and that I really could think of was the fact that he never had a chance to see his beloved Cuba again. You gotta get my mind, your body. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's like a circle of musical, artistic, spiritual, cultural. And if my dad didn't come, that's what I understand. But if he to the music of him, that would be incredible. What do you think? What do you think? Yes, well, no, but bring the music of him, bring the orchestra. Yes, bring the orchestra, bring the music here, to give concerts to the public Cuban. The issue with the cultural embargo is that we're missing out on sustenance and freshness for so much of what could influence our music. Latin music, Cuban music especially, is inexorably tied in to jazz. It is part and parcel of the same cloth. We have not spent really enough time or any time trying to understand how they're interwoven. Jazz is part of this Afro-Caribbean music. Because yes, in New Orleans, we, there were Cubans, there were uh, Haitians, there were people from, from all, all parts of the Caribbean. The swing, the intonation, the groove, how they play together, it's a family here. It's a family. You have to play in Carnegie Hall. Culture transcends politics. We're missing out for so much of what could influence our music, our jazz. Cuba, the United States, jazz, Latin music, it's all about family and relationship and cultures uh, being intermingled. And the beautiful thing to me is that there's always reconciliation. The idea that jazz and Cuban music and Latin music reconcile is it's a beautiful family reunion. I've heard it from the lips of Cubans, and I've heard it from the lips of Americans. We're just people. I'm really interested in what bonds us together. It's about completing an artistic journey that my father began.
Welcome.